consider the IEEE 754 single precision floating point numbers P and Q, which one of the following corresponds to the product of these numbers that is P into Q represented in the IEEE 754 single precision format and we are given these four options over here. So if you uh, have seen my earlier video on IEEE 754 single precision format of floating point numbers then this is the format using 32 bits single precision is using 32 bits this first bit 31st bit corresponds to the sign which is 1 for negative and 0 for positive the next 8 bits from 23 to 30 represent the exponent and the remaining bits they represent the mantissa and we know that in single precision the exponent is represented in excess 127 format so whatever whatever is the exponent given over here we have to subtract 127 from it to get the actual exponent now these two floating point numbers in IEEE 754 format have been given to us 0x signifies that it is a hexadecimal representation so if we look at this number and break it into binary so c then 1 then 8 and all the remaining ones are zeros in this case we have 3 f 5 c 2 e f 4 so this is these are the two numbers which are given in binary so p in binary is this so if we go by this IEEE 754 format we can see that this first digit over this 31st bit is a 1 which signifies that it is a negative number the next bits we have to the next 8 bits give us the exponent and the remaining bits are the mantissa so the if you look at this exponent over here in binary it is 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 so in decimal it is 131 so this exponent minus 127 because this exponent is in 120 excess 127 format so the actual exponent is 131 minus 127 which is 4 if we look at q this 31st bit this is 0 that shows that this is a positive number these are the next 8 bits which represent 126 decimal number and 126 minus 127 will give us minus 1 which is the actual exponent and the remaining bits over here they give us the mantissa so what will be the product p into q so we have this p which is a negative number and we have this q which is a positive number so negative into a positive number will give us a negative number and that will be represented by 1 what is the actual exponent so when we are multiplying two numbers so let's say it is 2 to the power of 8 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 we have to add the exponents so here also in this case we will be adding the exponent so the exponent of p is 4 and the exponent of q is minus 1 so 4 plus minus 1 will give us 3 so this is the actual exponent but we will be representing p into q in IEEE 754 format so we have to convert this into excess 127 so for representation we will add 127 which is 130 and 130 in binary will give us this now for the mantissa we have to multiply the mantissa of p and multiply the and the mantissa of q now in we know that in ieee 754 form format this is normalized that means it is one point m the mantissa is actually one point m this is m so we have to add this one this one is implicit which has to be added so actually the p the mantissa for p is one point this m similarly for q it is one point this m so the mantissa of p which is one point zero 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 multiplied by one point this this fraction one one zero one triple one and so on so this into one will give us this only and when we have to put it in IEEE 754 format this is implied 
so that means we simply have to put the fractional part so only the fractional part will go in the representation so now let's take a look at what we have got the sign bit is 1 for this multiplication the exponent in XS 127 format we have seen it is 130 so this is the representation and the mantissa in IEEE 754 format this is the fractional part which we have to put. So now P into Q what will it actually be? So this is actual this is the sign multiplied by 1 which is implied and the fractional part into 2 which is the implied base into 3 which is the ac our actual exponent. So the actual P into Q will be this but when we have to represent it in IEEE 754 format what will we do? This because it is a negative number we will have 1 as the sign bit which we will put in bit 31. The next 8 digits so from here to here this will be giving us our mantissa oh, sorry the exponent <coughs> which is in 120 XS 127 format. So this is our exponent and the fractional part this fractional part we will put over here. So this becomes our complete IEEE 754 format. Now when we have to represent this in hexadecimal format what we do is we take the groups of 4 and when we convert this binary representation into hexadecimal rep representation we will get C15 C2 E F4. So this, this option, this is the correct answer.